Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week, or uh, sorry, for this is your April 2023 bonus reading. Uh, you start off here with this Soul Tribe card. It says you're attracting your Soul Tribe who will support you. You also have this card that says Gaia. It says, trust the universe has a better plan for you than you do. So I feel like you are being guided at this time. I also kind of feel like that Soul Tribe card is just saying that, you know, you, you know, as you kind of like start your journey in life uh, or a new journey in life, I truly believe that when we get started on something that we're supposed to be working on, that the universe kind of brings people in who can help us um, be successful or, um, you know, who can help guide us on our journey. And I feel like that is what this is saying, is that it's saying there are people who are coming in for you at this time. And these and it could be people, places, or things, or experiences. It could be like movies that you're watching. It could be books that you're reading. It's like, I really feel you're being guided. It's, and look at, you have this card right here that says the universe is supporting you. So you are definitely being heavily supported at this time. And I feel like this support is guiding you um, towards, you know, whatever it is that you want in life, some sort of success or... Um, something like that. And I wouldn't worry about this. This here is the area of the good stuff. And so no matter what shows up in that row, it's gonna be good no matter what. So even though you have the Tower, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Wands, it doesn't matter, it, it's gonna be good. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, but you have the Queen of Wands here. I feel like you're very attractive at this time. And we definitely do see love here. Uh, going this way, you have the Four of Wands to the Chariot. So if you want love, it's available. I actually wouldn't really call it a love reading though. Here, Gemini, I, you know, it's like, yeah, there's love here. And I think love is always available too. To us, but you might just be focused on some other things in life. The Queen of Wands, you know, I always say that she doesn't care what anyone thinks, and that's probably the most important thing about her. She has this black cat here, and during the times of tarot, black cats were considered very unlucky. And, uh, you know, the whole point being is that she doesn't care. She just wants a black cat. That's all she cares about is that she likes a cat, right? She doesn't care what anyone thinks. So I kind of feel like that you are in that energy and that energy is going to lead to success. You also have the uh, Two of Swords here. Two of Swords is about making a decision here. And, you know, it's kind of interesting because... I mean, sorry, Two of Pentacles. I don't know why I saw that as the Two of Swords. I literally saw that as the Two of Swords in my head. And I feel like there's a decision you have to make. Two of Pentacles can represent a decision. But that's crazy. I've never had that happen. But we go this way to the Death card, this way to the Three of Cups. For some of you, I feel like you're going back and forth be between some sort of choice. And you even have this bad decision card here. And so we're going to look at that card in just a minute, of course. But I feel like some of you are trying to avoid a bad decision here. I feel like you need to move towards the newness, number one, right? With the Two of Pentacles. I always say that if you're trying to make a choice, the Two of Pentacles can just say the new decision is the best decision. It can also say like the, that one thing is more complicated. I'm also getting something about justification. I truly believe we never have to justify a good decision, right? We only have to justify bad decisions. And so I feel like this is saying, maybe you have two choices. And one thing you have to justify, the other thing you don't. And I and you know, and I mean like real justifications. Like maybe you have two a choice between like two people. And it's like maybe you're maybe you're looking at one person as a person you've been with for a really long time. Maybe you're looking at another person as a new person. And maybe you're like, well, this new person, maybe you're thinking that there are justifications. This is what this is what's popping into my head. I have to work this one out. Because it's like you might think there are justifications for this new person, but I think this new person is clearly you know, and, and this is just an example. I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying that if you look at it in, you you see this person, I think they're clearly better than maybe a person you have history with. And it's like, you have to justify this person over here more than you do this person. I don't know, I hope that makes sense. Could also be a job, you know, or some, some other thing that you're doing. You have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're about to get results here in your life. I'm getting another weird message here as well. It's like, you don't realize like what you're about to have in your life. <laughs> um, you know, and I, I think this could have to do with a person, Gemini. It's like, if you stay with a person who doesn't deserve what you're about to have, then I think you're gonna regret it. And again, I don't, I don't truly think we ever have regrets in life, but I just feel this is kind of like saying, make sure that you're entering into situations that deserve your energy. It doesn't even have to be love. It could be, again, you have that soul tribe card. You have the three of cups here as well. So it could just be like friend groups, people that you help in life, um, people that you guide in life and things like that. I would be very careful of that. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Emperor. Definitely could be a fire sign coming in for you if you want love. Uh, I feel like you're ready, but really I feel it's more about action taking. 
Queen of Wands to me, she represents needing to be confident, bold, assertive, really going for what you want. He is all of those things. So I feel like you're kind of like moving towards something new in life. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. Something feels like a risk is what I'm getting. Five of Wands is a card of conflict and competition. So I kind of feel like you are conflicted on a choice or a decision that you have to make here, Gemini. And, um, <laughs> you know, again, let's see. Let, let's see where this is going in the next row. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck, like, where do I put in the work? You know, Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords is I put a lot of work into something, like a, work, a business, a job, a career, a person. But am I going to get the result? You know, Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. So I feel for a lot of you, the decision that you're trying to make could have to do with um, putting in work into anything, relationship, business, or otherwise, and you're wanting to know that you're going to get back what you put in, if that makes sense. And But you can't know that, is what the Eight of Swords is saying. And it, that could be the thing that's keeping you stuck if you are stuck at this time. You have this bad decision card. It says, ignored your intuition and now suffering the effects of a bad decision. Obviously, that's not going to be true for all of you. And it looks like there's a healing coming up here, Gemini. If things are not going well, it's best to... Um, it's best not to make important decisions during this time and wait until you are in a good frame of mind and have gathered enough information to make informed decisions. Yes, I would definitely gather enough information. Mercury retrograde as well. There's like no rush. So if you feel like you made a bad decision, I don't think that's true for all of you. Uh, for some of you maybe, but for, you know, the thing is, I don't see any regrets here, right? It's like for me, for this to say that you have already made a bad decision, there would have to be regrets like five of cups or something. We don't see that yet. That might change. Um, but what I would say is I feel like some of you don't want to make a bad decision. It's like you're just wanting to make the right decision. You have the death card, the four of wands, and the three of cups. For some of you, it could be between two people, like I said. Uh, I think that it's obvious. It might not seem obvious. Oh, you do have the five of cups. <laughs> You have the five of cups right here. <laughs> so uh, never mind. Sorry, Gemini. Some of you maybe have made a bad decision. But again, that's in the area of the good stuff. So it, even if you feel like you made a bad decision, I feel like you are healing from this because of that. And, um, you know, maybe you will just, um, you know, kind of be moving on from this bad decision, taking it as a learning lesson. For others, I feel like you could be trying to choose between two people. And again, I would pick the new path. Even when we do go like this, to the, five, to the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is something new. And then you do have the Five of Cups, but the Five of Cups also says, pick the new path. He's crying over something that he lost, the, the three cups. But when he turns around, he sees these two cups, the bridge and the castle. So it's like he's crying over something he lost his taste for in the first place. He's crying over spilt wine. And he once enjoyed the taste of wine, but he doesn't any longer. And so that's why he's crying because he, he feels like he lost something that he loved. But really, there's something better behind him. And I feel like that's what you need to realize here. Um, and again, so picking the new path might be the right decision for you or the new person or the new whatever. I also feel that there are wise people in your life that uh, really could be guiding you. So I would listen to the wise people in your life. I would basically, you know, I always say that I think it's best to take advice from people who we look up to, who we would trade places with. So, you know, obviously, if you want something, out of life, um, you know, I, I think it, it's not really a good idea to take advice from someone who doesn't have it, right? That's not always true. Someone always gives me some crazy ass example. I don't care. Number one, number about your crazy ass example. Number two, I'm I'm reading for like a million people here, so you know it's called broadcasting. So I'm delivering a broad message here on this video. And so what I would say here is only take advice from people who you look up to, who you would trade places with, right? And that's what I feel like this three of cups is saying. You have the four wands, which is a card of marriage. Uh, you know, some of you could be thinking about love or marriage. I really feel like you're thinking about freedom. You know, four wands, the card of freedom. You have the chariot. He's leaving behind the city behind him behind so that he can set himself free. And, he, you know, he's trying to make himself unique. He's hoping to change his life. And he's hoping to find somewhere where he can have maybe his own city, where he can have his own rules, his own, you know, uh, way of expressing himself or, what, you know, whatever he wants. And you have the death card here. So it's like you want change. You want, you know, I feel like you want kind of this uh, transformation in your life or you want some sort of transformation in your life. I do feel like you are kind of letting something go here. Let's see. Uh, with the Death card, you have the Page of Wands, New Adventure. Yep, um, I thought you had more Adventure cards in this. Well, Chariot, I guess. So Page of Wands, he's kind of like stepping off into a new direction. And the whole entire reading is basically saying that. 
Uh, with the four of wands, you have the two of pentacles again. <laughs> so definitely a choice or a decision to make. I feel like you could be juggling, but it's like if you're if you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, then you know I feel like you're gonna have a hard time. You're just gonna feel tired and exhausted. Um, the other thing I would say is sometimes I feel like if we can't make up our mind, the answer is no decision. That's the answer, right? It's like sometimes, like I think that in life, I'm a big fan of you know the whole F yes, F no rule. So if something is an F yes, it's an F no. And I feel like some of you need to follow that rule here. It's like maybe you can't make a decision between two people. And this reading could be saying, okay, then it's better to be alone for now. That doesn't mean you're gonna be alone forever, but maybe you need to do some healing so that you can get to the point where you can actually pick a person. Um, maybe this is in business as well. It's like maybe not, you have a choice between two jobs. Maybe neither one seems right, then it's not right, right? And I feel like what this reading is saying is that what you don't see coming is that number one, there's gonna be guidance coming in for you here in this row where you are gonna know what to do. But it's like the more you try to force it, I feel like the harder it's gonna be for you. And again, I'm not criticizing you here, Gemini. Um, trust me, I'm a Gemini moon, <laughs> right? This is my daily life. I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth uh, all day long. So, you know, I totally get it. But I feel like this is saying, you know, maybe no decision for some of you. With the three of cups, you have the six of wands here. Yes, people can help you. I would pick the winners in life. There are people who can help you make decisions and choices, but make sure that they have what you want. You know, it's like, um, you know, if you're trying to grow a business, then get advice from a business person who has a successful business. If you want to get married, it's probably not a good advice idea to get advice from a divorced person, right? It's like, it cracks me up on YouTube, all these people that are like relationship experts that have been divorced like 35 times. I'm not criticizing those people, but it's probably not a good person to get advice from. People always say to me, yeah, but they know what to look out for. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't care right? Doesn't matter. To me, I only want to take advice from someone who's been married for their whole entire life. That's all I care about because that person has been focused on the right things. It's like someone who's been divorced 35 times. And if you, good for you, if you've been divorced 35 times, right? Then guess what? It's like, you know, they didn't focus on the right things. So, you know, again, not a criticism. There are people, again, I'm not judging these people, but again, we should be only focusing on what we want, not what we don't want. And that's what I'd be doing here, Gemini. Uh, in your next row, you have this card that says, in just a few weeks, you, it says the universe is supporting you, networking, meeting, socializing. Socializing, definitely a good idea for you. Eventually, everything connects. Yes, you will be connecting the dots. A lot of the readings, very interestingly, have been about connecting the dots or kind of... Um, you know, bringing two things together. So I feel like, you know, to slow things down, we have Mercury retrograde this month. Maybe this reading is just saying, hey, slow things down. You don't have to make a decision. Maybe it's a good time to come up with like a, a pros and cons list right now or to look at your options, to explore your options and all that other stuff and then make a decision after, you know, I, I would say like in May, you know, at the end of May. You have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot. See, it's like the right thing is coming in for you, but if you're stuck between two other things, then you're not gonna discover this Ace of Pentacles. That's really how I feel about this reading. Such a confusing, it is a little bit of a confusing reading. You might be confused about what to do, but again, I feel like, you know, this is so much bigger, you know, this Ace of Pentacles, so much bigger than the two Pentacles that you, maybe you've been juggling, whatever this decision is. So I feel like there's something much bigger. And again, this is not just love. I feel like this could be in work or business as well. Some of you could be like saying, do I want a new job? Do I need something different? Maybe you're wondering if you're working on the right business, but I feel like you're about to discover like something that you're truly meant to do. So I really get that feeling here where if you feel like you've been spinning your tires, if you feel like you've been wasting your time for the past few months or whatever, I feel like you're about to kind of land on something, this right here, like a big opportunity, but you just don't see it yet. So I feel like that's why it's saying, like, don't just do something to do something. That's like the feeling I get from these silly little two of pentacles here, Gemini. I feel like they're saying like, don't just be busy for busyness sake, right? You might be thinking like, oh, I need money. And, and again, I'm not saying that you don't have real world problems here, right? Uh, you might need money. You might need um, success in work or something like that. But at the same time, I feel like if you just put work into these, whatever these two things are, or one of the two things, um, whatever it is, it's like things aren't gonna work as well as this is gonna work. So it's like, there, it, it's almost like this reading is a turnaround reading in a good way. I feel like there's gonna be a victory in the future and you're gonna realize that you've been worrying over nothing. It's kind of like the energy that I get here, Gemini, where you could be creating a lot of worries and it's almost like a big solution is coming in for you, but you're too focused on these other two things. So, 
you know, I think that you should focus on, you know, like I said, the things that you want, not on the things that you don't want. I also think you should be focusing on a victory with the chariot card. I feel like there are wins coming in for you. Some of you could be moving as well. I mean, tower uh, can also represent a move. You have the queen of pentacles. So again, I would be focusing on the resources that you do have. Me, you know, sometimes I think we look for solutions outside of ourselves, right? And the queen of pentacles just says, you have all the solutions necessary to all your problems, but you just have to, your, your focus is important. She's, I always say that, you know, she's, I'll show you, she's focused on that pentacle. She's not focused on this rabbit. The rabbit can represent like fears, anxiety. Uh, you know, it is a car, it does represent like abundance and success or fertility, the rabbit, but really it represents fears and anxiety. And it's like, she's focused on what she has, not on what she doesn't have. And there's something, I, you know, I've been getting that message here, this whole entire reading. Like there's something about that for you, Gemini. So uh, let's see. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords, moving on to Commerce Shores, uh, definitely improvements coming in for you. I feel like this month, you know, it's like you might enter into this month feeling Two of Pentacles confused. I get so much confusion on that Two of Pentacles about like going back and forth or whatever. And I feel like that Six of Swords it is, by the way, Six of Swords would be no decision, like I said, which is funny because, um, you know, normally the woman and the child in this boat, they only have the clothing on their backs. They have nothing with them in that boat. So they're kind of like making no decision. They're choosing nothing. They're just choosing to cross the choppy waters in hopes of a brighter future, which is what you're getting. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Temperance card. It's interesting because you might be getting something that's a mixture of the two things, right? <laughs> it's, uh, that's kind of what I'm getting here is you could be getting something that's a mixture of both worlds. Like if you've been struggling to pick a job, it's like maybe you're actually discovering, uh, getting a big opportunity for something that's like got the aspects of both jobs or maybe it's love and maybe it's a person who has like, maybe they're not perfect, nobody's perfect, right? But maybe they have a good mixture of the two things that you liked from the two people you were trying to choose from. So, you know, I really get this like big turnaround opportunity or something coming in for you. With the chariot, you have the five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. Some of you might be afraid to walk away from something because you're fearing that uh, you will lose resources, right? Doesn't have to be money. Could be like family resources, could be friends or, you know, pretty much anything. And the Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. How funny is it that I've been saying, focus on what you want, right? There's something here. I, I can't really, you know, grab onto the message. I'm trying to clarify it, but there's something here about needing to be careful about like the things that you feed your brain and even the people, like I said, you know, getting advice from people who have been successful already. You know, I kind of get that energy here on that Five of Pentacles. And again, Five of Pentacles says, call attention to your strengths. It says, D there's no point in focusing on your weaknesses for the most part. So that's what I would do there. Uh, at the end for the good stuff, you have this dolphin spirit. It says, stop taking life so seriously and splash some joy in everyday life. Yeah, it may, uh, it's kind of interesting as well that a lot of people have had these cards this month of kind of like needing to have more fun, needing to kind of like enjoy yourself more. So I definitely feel that here with the dolphin spirit. Uh, you have the uh, Five of Cups d Tower and the Seven of Wands. So I kind of feel like you're getting to this point where you are turning around and seeing these two cups. Again, when he's grateful for what he has, he sees this bridge and this castle. So he doesn't just get these two cups. He gets more. He gets a bridge and a castle. So I feel for a lot of you, this is about kind of uh, maybe choosing yourself. Uh, next, you have the tower. I do get like um, a blessing in disguise on this tower. So some of you, I feel have already had a tower moment, some sort of loss, but um, it doesn't even want to focus. I, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise. Again, I always say that to me, the tower is a good card. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but you know, the tower has to fall. That's the whole point of the tower is that it's weak in the first place. Also, those people have been ignoring reality. The tower brings us back down to reality. So it's like, you know, maybe the tower is uncomfortable, but how is that a bad thing? How is it bad that you're being brought back down to reality? I definitely feel though, that since it's showing up in the good stuff, you could be healing from a past tower moment. I also feel moving for some of you as well. You have the seven of wands. I feel like you're becoming more certain. The seven of wands is a card of conviction. It says, when you know that you know that something will be successful, then it will be successful. But really, I feel like this has to do with certainty. Again, I'm going from confusion to clarity here is how I feel this reading is kind of going. And that's what I mean by certainty. I feel like in the future, you know, in the near future, maybe like May, right? And it's not like you're gonna, be, I mean, you're not gonna be suffering this month. It's a slow month, April, right? And we have a Mercury retrograde. So, you know, take your time, right? But what I would say here is that I feel that you're gonna be, 
I, I think this Ace of Pentacles opportunity could be coming in for you. And I feel like you're very sure about it with the Seven of Wands. It's like you know that it's kind of like more of a sure thing in your life. But I also feel like it feels certain. You know, there's a certain level of, you know, uh, certainty <laughs> with whatever this is. With the Five of Cups, you have the King of Cups. Definitely could be new love coming in for you. And again, I would say it's a good combination of like maybe two past people or, you know, two people you were trying to choose between or whatever. So much more certain. You know, again, I get that energy. Could be any sign. You've been getting water for a while, but with me, which is weird, but you know, it could also be an Aries or a Sagittarius or just a fire sign in general. Could be any sign, general reading um, is what I would say there. With the tower, you have the Ten of Wands. Yes, releasing burdens. See, I am I think you released something very heavy. Again, this is the good stuff, so it's gonna be good no matter what. And I feel like that um, Ten of Wands is saying you kind of released something that was maybe holding you back for a very long period of time or something that kind of was keeping you stuck. And maybe it hurt, but it was also keeping you stuck, Gemini. With the uh, Seven of Wands, you have the Nine of Wands. Um, again, this is going to be the good stuff. So I feel like you're not giving up on something. Like if, you know, maybe that you went through some challenges, a bad decision that was made in love. It doesn't matter what side you were on either uh, with of this bad decision. And uh, I feel like the Nine of Wands says you're not giving up uh, at this time. So it's like you're not allowing whatever this past decision was to control you. Uh, so pretty weird reading, not gonna lie here, Gemini. <laughs> We're gonna pull five main themes now and see what's going on for you. You have this letter card. I would be careful of communication from a past person here. Mercury retrograde, a lot of people have had communication from a past person showing up in their readings. And it could be a person who made a bad decision, but uh, you know that's on them. So I feel like you're moving past it. I feel, like, and by the way, if, if if this was a person that made a bad decision with you, I feel like you've been through enough pain here with this reading. It's like saying you're healing from that with the tower. You had to see a very uncomfortable reality with that person, you know? Um, and you know, I feel, that's really what I feel. For some of you, if it was a person who made a bad decision with you, I think they have regrets, but you don't care anymore. Number one, number two, I feel like they really put you through it. Uh, next, you have this haughtiness card. They were fake. Um, so I feel like this was just a fake person if it was a person. I'm going to pull an extra card. I feel like those two cards are connected. Uh, you have this messenger card. Uh, there are clearly messages coming in for you. I do feel like there could be some good news coming in for you as well. Uh, you have this uh, cheerfulness card, a lot of reasons to be happy. Again, I five of pentacles, I would be focusing more on your happiness or focusing more on things that bring happiness into your life. That's that. That's it. Uh, you have this servant card. A lot of people have had this card, and I just think people, we need to look for efficiency. If you're, you know, Pluto left Capricorn, it's in Aquarius, it's going to retrograde back into Capricorn. But if you're doing things that you feel like are wasting your time, then you're going to waste your time. <laughs> so, you know, make sure that you're being efficient so that you don't feel like your energy is being sucked out of you. Uh, you have this merchant card, really good for money. Anything any of you are doing to, you know, kind of uh, sell your products or if you're just trying to sell yourself in business, there could be a lot of success here in that area of your life. And uh, finally, you have this child card. Some of you, I would be careful of getting pregnant, number one. I'm pretty sure your last reading I said this to you, but I also feel like you could just be birthing something new into your life, this ace of pentacles, but it's almost like you have to ignore this right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think the only way that you are going to get that Ace of Pentacles is if you put this down, these two things right here, whatever they are, two people, two places, two things. It could even be a person in a place, right? As well, not trying to confuse you anymore, but with the tower, it's like sometimes, you know, you could have a choice between staying in a relationship or, you know, moving to a country you've always wanted to move to. You know, like there could be some sort of decision. It's like you don't want to make the wrong decision, but I feel like you know the right decision. And I also feel the universe is going to give you a lot more clues. So if you feel confused or not sure what to do, it's clear to me that as we move through the month of April, things are gonna get more and more clear. And the thing I wanna say to you is you might feel like you have to rush. You might feel like you're running out of time, but you're not, is what I would say here, Gemini. So pretty interesting, weirdest reading I've done for you in a while, but you know, I don't know, probably makes sense to some of you. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.